Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't, thumbs down work too. Uh, and if you're not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. And if I do any giveaways, you won't miss those as well. Today, I have, I think, a fun one for y'all. Uh, everybody's always asked me to do collection videos, and though I'll never do a complete collection video just because it would take too much time, I decided I would give you my updated Micarta knife collection. Because Micarta is currently, and has been for a while, my favorite handle scale material for a knife for many different reasons. It's got very, uh, it's, it's got character, it changes over time with the oils in your hand and stuff. It darkens, it lightens. Um, and I think one of the biggest things, besides the appearance of it, that I love about it is <clears throat> that it it gives you a nice, grippy, tactile feeling because it, 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 it's got cloth or whatever material it's made out of uh, that gives you, you know, extra grip. So I don't want to talk too long because this might be a long video. And we're going to get started. I'm going to go through, you know, my, my favorites, the first uh, 10 or so are my, my favorites of this whole entire group, and I'll try at the end to give you my, uh, my top three out of all the ones I show y'all. So let's get started. First one's a fairly new one for me, and that is the Alliance Design Bangarang. Um, if you haven't seen my video on this and you would like to know more about it, please go check it out. Uh, Matt Christensen Design, uh, Green Canvas Micarta, Liner Lock. It's a stout knife, but it's still ground nice and thin. It's got that nice dark wash on it. Very smooth, awesome knife. That is the Bangarang from Alliance Design. Alrighty, one of my faves. This is the Hinder Knives Fire Tack. Um, these are aftermarket scales. <clears throat> the guy I bought it from included these with it. I'm not sure who they're from, but this is Burlap Micarta. And this is more of a higher grit finish. It's not polished, but you don't feel the, the burlap on that. It's, it's smooth, as you can see. But it still gives you grip, though. Love this knife. Still need to do a video on this. I think I, got, I actually have another hinderer on the way, one that, I, that I've been chasing for a long time. So whenever that comes in, I might do a video on my hinderer knives. All right, the next is an excellent knife. That is the TRM Atom. This is the larger. They have the smaller brother is the Neutron. I had a Neutron. Actually, I had... One of the Neutron prototypes when they had first came out and somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse so I moved it on. And I'm kind of glad because I, I wouldn't have wanted to keep both of them. Nah, I probably would have kept both of them, but I like this one a lot. And it's super smooth, nice and thin, contoured scales on this one. And I got lucky with these scales right here. It's like, I think it's a camo uh, canvas micarta. And it's got their little pattern in there. It's hard to see, but my buddy uh, here on, he doesn't, he doesn't have a YouTube, but he, he's, he comments on a lot of my videos, and he's a buddy of mine through Instagram as well. His name is Lavender Pants. He hooked me up with these, and I'm forever grateful. <clears throat> All righty. Next is another good, pretty fairly new one for me, and that is the American Blade Works. Uh, model 1 v4 wearing my edge on there um, this is linen micarta linen's probably my favorite of the micartas um, this is I think like a brown linen micarta I like like how he didn't take this one too high uh, he didn't polish this one up too much so I can feel the texture on there very nice excellent knife right here this action ooh, is to die for American Blade Works uh, Model 1 V4 S35BN, where my edge? Alright, this next one, the Sprint Run that went fast, and that is the Spyderco 
Shaman in CPM crew wear with the canvas brown can or natural canvas micarta scales. Um, I have I have the uh, S90V in carbon fiber one, but whenever this one came out, ah, I knew I had to have it. Um, the only other one that that would probably replace this one for me if I were able to get it would be the um, the same configuration as this one but with the I think it's Z-Ware steel excellent steel that one I will be trying to get my hands on if I can but it's wearing an MXG gear deep carry clip excellent knife the next two are customs and um, I enjoy them as good workers. These are uh, beaters. Uh, they're, they're just good knives. And that is the Wells Blade Works, whatever you want to call it, because it's uh, one off. Because he, you know, he makes, makes whatever, kind of give him an idea of what you're looking for, and he can make that. I wanted uh, like somewhat of like a Bowie-esque style blade with a swedge on top and a total more natural canvas micarta. It's wearing my edge, 20 CV steel, um, just a good work knife, nice and smooth. I mean, you know, it's not perfect, but it's a custom full handmade knife and um, it's attractive and it gets the job done. Uh, I don't recall the price tag on this, but they, they're not expensive for the custom world at least. And another uh, Wells Blade Works knife that I got is his uh, mod that he does to the open L knives. And he turned it into a liner lock. And I wasn't really an open L fan as far as the wood scales and no pocket clip. But I absolutely love their cutting geometry. I mean, these things are paper thin. I think mine's like 5,000 behind the edge. It goes to a zero grind, but like down here, it's like 5,000 behind the edge. So when I was able to get a liner lock, thumb stud deployer, and a deep carry pocket clip, it was a no-brainer for me. This one gets a lot of use, um, especially if I got to break down a bunch of cardboard. This is which one I go to a lot of the times because of that thin, slicey blade. Love it. Wells Blade Works Open L. I think it's number eight mod. <clears throat> Another one of my faves be the Hinder XM18 uh, non flipper three inch. Uh, this is, a, I think, yeah, the spear point blade. And I use this quite a bit you can kind of see start seeing the, the the character marks on it all over there uh, this is wearing some green linen micarta scales I bought from RC blade works and man this thing it's just perfect size for me it fits my hand perfect especially without that flipper and I just had to have this the one that I have coming in is a three and a half inch so you have to wait and see Another, another excellent choice, if I'm not carrying this, is the Chris Reeve knife, Sabenza 21 small with the micarta inlays. Another excellent knife. Both of these, both of these are heirloom quality. Something you could uh, hand down to your your kids, and they can hand down to their kids. These things are built to last. They have excellent, excellent tolerances. Um, just super well made, good heat treats on them. Um, as far as heat treating goes, I, I, I prefer the Hinderer heat treats because they tend to take them up a little higher in the Rockwell scale. And Chris Reed knives, which they have came up, they have bumped them up some. They're not as high because they want them to be easily sharpened in the field. It's understandable. All right, the next is a fairly new one, and that is a Spyderco Spy Opera M390. This is a polished linen micarta right here. You still get some grip, but it's not as grippy as, uh, say, this linen micarta. You can see the, 
You can actually see the material on this linen. You can definitely feel it, it's furry. And on this, you can't see any, it's, it's glossy, so. Cool knife, uh, still, still gotta use it some more and I'll, I'll probably do a video on this if y'all would like to see one on this. But it's got a lot of stuff I love, like crown spine, wire pocket clip, crown back, uh, back spring, and a back lock on, on bearings, huh? Nice knife. Alrighty. Next one is the Pinion Knives X Series Apache in the natural canvas micarta. Out of the the four that they did in this this style, like are like the smaller versions like this, this is my favorite of the group. It's got great action. It's comfortable in hand. I love that blade shape. Very very useful M390 steel. Just wish they would have done larger runs of these or hopefully they'll do another run. I don't know if they are or not, but I hate that. Another one from that collection that I actually scored in my Carta is the Swayback in the Pina X series Swayback. You can see uh, green canvas my Carta M390. This one's got a strong D10. I'm going to try to fix that, but this one hasn't got carried much because of that. All right, I got a father and son duo here. Got the Spyderco Southerd. That's wearing some RC Blade Works aftermarket uh, scales. I think these are his camo canvas micarta, and it's wearing my edge on there. This is a discontinued model for Spyderco. Um, but I, I like it a lot. It's comfortable in hand. I did put, I did change the clip because the clip bothered me. So I put a MXG gear deep carry clip on it, and I got that over travel in my cart as well. But I like it a lot. Nice hollow grind on here. It's a nice slicey blade, uh, comfortable in hand, and it is in CTS 204P. Excellent steel, pretty much like an M390. And its son is the Mini Southerd. They didn't come like this. Kevin Smock of Smock Knives made this. Um, I thought several times about doing this one as well, but I like having a full size as well. Um, this is wearing my edge now. I got this second hand but it's also wearing some RC Blade Works linen micarta scales. They were the same as these. I bought them from somebody and I didn't need to, so I decided to cut them and shape them myself, the back end at least. So there you go. Oh, and here's the other side of that. And he crowned the spine. The spine's not crowned on those. And he contoured uh, the titanium. Kevin Smock did. Alrighty, <coughs> let's see. Off to the table, let go. All right, next is the Artisan Cutlery uh, Small Centuri in the micarta. I added the thumb stud, didn't come with that. And I did a little um, softening of the edges on this. I, I like this knife a good bit. Uh, I'm just not a front flipper fan, so that's why I added the uh, thumb stud on there just so I could use it as a thumb stud knife. It works excellent as a thumb stud knife. It's nice and slicey. It's uh, decently thin. The blade stock is not overly thick. I like this knife. It gets used a good bit. Uh, the next is a great budget offering, and I, I heard they're going to do more of these, and this is a VV Elementum and S35 VN Steel and Green Canvas Micarta. Uh, I added the thumb studs to this as well because sometimes whenever I have a knife that to me it would just be so nice as a thumb stud knife. I have to just add one. I, I will probably be changing this to either black or anodized titanium thumb stud. Um, but I like it. 
Only thing is, I wish they would source some U.S. micarta. This, I don't, I mean, let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is some U.S. micarta here. I could be wrong. Maybe this one is, but I'll show, I have, I have a Civivi with some micarta. That sucks. But excellent knife, great EDC knife. That is the Civivi Elementum, and that's 35 b unit. The next was a exclusive uh, to, I think it was Urban EDC. And I, the, the name of the knife is even slipping, but I'll show it. It's in Canvas Micarta. I got mine reground by um, Transparent Knives when he was still uh, still doing knives. Things some life has come up and he's I don't think he's no longer doing stuff with knives. Hopefully he can one day get back to that because he does a great job. But I love the profile of this knife. I love that clip point. It's a nice smaller knife. Um, I can get a a three finger grip it's it's vox design love vox uh but it was extremely thick behind the edge and for a small knife that just didn't make any sense to me oh i'm sorry it was a collaboration with blade hq um and i was either gonna sell it but i really liked the knife so when when brian a transparent knife said he would give me a regrind i decided to keep it and i'm glad i did I think it's like eight thousandths behind the edge now. Nice and slicey. Makes a lot more sense to me, especially in a small package. If I remember the name of this knife, I'll I'll blurt it out. Alright, this is the TRM Nerd. This is their smallest liner lock that I'm aware of. And I have uh, Lavender Pants to thank for this as well. He bought one um, before these were dropped, so he gave me his spot on the list because I had forgot about it. 20 CV steel, made in the great U.S. of aid, nice deep carry pocket clip. The one thing that I wish they would have done and something I'll probably either change or I'll sell the knife is leave this lip uh, a little sharper. Just or maybe a little deeper so I could, you know, either spidey flick it or I can't I can't get my thumb in there enough to actually it's it, I got to like really push down so my finger doesn't slide off of it. But great third third uh fifth pocket knife. Lightweight. Another good one for that is the Kaiser Lieb in brown canvas micarta. Cool small knife great action all right the next three are crkt's with some aftermarket scales this is the crkt pilar and this is my s35 vm one that i did some heavy mods to but that's green canvas micarta that's nice and worn as you can see it just has that i don't know it just feels really good I've been liking these as well. This is a bone linen micarta. And can't for the life of me remember who. I want to say these were Rips Garage Tech, but I, I, I think I'm wrong on that. Got them off of Blade HQ. Go, if, you, if you're interested, go check out Blade HQ. I think they still have some for, for sale. This is a linen micarta. Linen bone linen and canvas got another father-son duo and that's for my birds blades slim and slim mini this one's wearing like a maroon or natural i don't know canvas micarta this one's wearing it looks like a brown canvas but if anybody was interested to see the size comparisons of those two, I did videos on both of these. So if you're interested, just check them out on my channel. All right, the next one is the Summit, Kni Summit Knife Co. Uh, Half Dome 
in green canvas micarta. I did a video on this as well. If you're interested, it's wearing an MXG gear wire clip, clip replacement M390. I also have a a new summit knife uh, in coming soon. I mean that that's here sent to me by a, a friend that I will be reviewing here soon. Got a pair of twins. Got the Spider Co. Delica with some brown canvas micarta scales and the Lynch deep carry clip. This is my Hap 40 beater. As you can see, it's taken some some nice wear on that bad boy. Um, I love the Delica as a beater knife. I just think it's excellent. So. Uh, I decided to pick up a second in K390, and these are canvas micarta scales with uh, some, I guess they dyed the, the pattern on there, and I think both of these came from the same person on Amazon. Uh, I, I don't recall the name, but you could just type up uh, micarta scales for our Delica 4, and they'll be on there. And this one's also got a carbon fiber backspacer from uh, Flytanium. More aftermarket scales on my Benchmade bug out. This is a set of Allen Putman scales in green canvas micarta and the regrind on the bug out from my buddy Transparent Knives. I'm about to speed it up. Next one is the Ontario Knives Chakra, 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 with some crap micarta. Now this this is poor quality micarta. Let's just this is supposed to be a canvas micarta, and let me grab some. This is green. Let's just show you what I can find. One I'm trying to find one the same color. I'm sorry. Uh, Oh, yeah, this one. That's the difference. I mean, uh, it may not look different to y'all, but definitely feels different. It, this just looks cheap, which, I mean, it's on a cheap knife, so I'm not I'm not been out, that been out of shape about it. There you go. Ooh, one of my, this is becoming one of my favorite budget blades this year. And that is a QSP Penguin in uh, blue denim micarta. And this one is my, uh, my shop knife. So it's seen a lot of wear. And I picked up a, a second one because I like the knife so much and it's hard to beat. I think I got this one off a drop for 25 bucks. As you see, this one hasn't gotten used like this one. Next one is the CJRB Raya with uh, American sourced green canvas micarta. And that is some beautiful micarta work right there. Um, anybody who watched my video on this saw that I had um, some lock failure on this. I was able to uh, take it apart and kind of adjust the scales and it seems to have taken that problem away. Just wanted to update y'all on that. Some more crap micarta. The Civivi Hooligan in green canvas micarta. Look at that. They just, it just looks like a blob. I don't know this. I don't know if this is the same micarta that they're using on the Elementum. Kind of just looks like different colored micarta. I don't know. Hooligan, uh, good small knife. Um, I'm not a huge fan of choils, finger choils, but they fit my hand. Super thin, good little budget blade. Savivi Hooligan, canvas micarta. 
All right, now this is a knife that I modded. I turned it into a mini, and it is the Gerber flat iron that I turned into a small iron. It had it has blue denim micarta on it. It's kind of dirty. I use this one in the shop. I will say before I chop this knife, for being I'm not the hugest fan of Gerber as of late. Uh, this was a pretty pretty well done knife. Um, the finish it had like the Spyderco Bowie style. Look at you can see that it's kind of dirty. Let me see if I can wipe it down. Um, got like a, the Spyderco Bowie esque like shiny stone wash finish. It's hard to show. Let's see, can I show you? Well, sorry. It's D2 steel. Came super smooth. Does have some lock stick, pretty bad lock stick, but um, other than that, you know, not a bad. They, they're they're moving in the right direction somewhat. All right, the next two are two sons. They they have pretty crappy micarta as well. Uh, this one's not so bad because it's in an inlay, and this is one that I haven't shown on the channel yet, but I will be doing a video on this here soon. This is the Tucson TS-263 with this, uh, whatever, I guess you'd call it micarta. It looks better than that Civivi, but it's still some cheap stuff. Like this one. This one is, you can tell, or I can tell at least, Another Tucson is the TS-227. Now I paid $50 for this knife, so I'm not that worried about it. But, I don't know. There's something about it that just looks cheap. I don't know if it's the, the, the texture, how it feels, or what. There you go. This is the 227 Jelly Jerry design. Pretty big knife. Whoop. Next is some aftermarket scales from uh, Sharp Dress Knives, and this is the Spyderco Schmock in uh, camo micarta scales. It's hard to see because this is all black. I have noticed here lately though that there are some some voids, especially on this side, and I mean that. Or it could have just been air pocket. Well, that's what a void is, the air pocket. But I could have done that too. So I've, I've had nothing but uh, good experiences from sharp dressed knives. So Kevin Schmock. And it's got an MXG gear deep carry clip. Oh, i got to hurry. More aftermarket scales on uh, this Emerson Mini Commander. Um... I just put an edge on this knife recently. It's not a, it's not really a mirror, but it's screaming sharp. It needed a good edge. Uh, these are some brown canvas micarta or natural canvas micarta scales from someone from Instagram. Blades and such, I think, on Instagram. I like this knife. All right, the next is the Kaiser regular size bag letter. Uh, in brown canvas micarta. Um, I like this knife a good bit, but it's got an extremely strong detent because that detent ball is falling all the way into that hole. So it really takes a nice hard push to get this thing to come out. But other than that, you know, Beg Letter is a great budget knife or Beg Light or whatever, however you say it. Nice and smooth action. It's got those blue accents on there. This is more of like a semi-polished, almost polished canvas micarta. Brown canvas micarta. All right, the next two are CJRBs. And this is the large feldspar in green canvas micarta. Beautiful. Their, their micarta is just, oh, looks so good. The Centros, y'all have seen these on another video. And I'll show this one again. 
These are my three micarta my, my knives from CJRB, and I hope to see them doing more. Like it a lot. A whole lot. Let me see. I didn't even see. This is the micarta. Yeah, they, they're sourcing. I, I heard that they source their micarta from America, and I'm very happy to see that. I will continue to buy their micarta knives. The next is from QSP, and this is the, huh, I just, it just now slipped my mind, uh, dang it, the toucan maybe, I don't know, it just looks like a toucan beak or something, but it's got this black uh, canvas micarta, nice micarta as well on this one. You hadn't seen my video uh, almost all these I've done videos the exception of a few of them some more aftermarket scales uh, on my s45 power 2 uh, these are orange canvas micarta scales from rips garage tech um, that was one one thing about the s45 VN uh, para scales the way they were set up the edges were so sharp that i i couldn't I, I was trying to cut something and it literally was killing my hands so i knew these micarta scales would be real soft around the edges and they are they got a nice little chamfer right there so they're nice and comfortable and made me want to use this knife and uh the last three are slip joints First, I got the GC uh, Lick Creek in polished green canvas micarta. Um, I've never been at a good. I've, this thing has never really held a good edge, as you can see. It's a it's a user. It's a beater. Um, it just doesn't hold a good edge at all. 1095 steel, which I mean that that's not you know that's not a terrible steel, tool steel. But I don't know if it just ran really soft on this one, but it doesn't hold a good edge. Same with this one. This is the uh, Line Steel and CK Knife collaboration. I think it's the Shuffler. It's wearing my edge. This is like the fifth edge I put on this thing just because it's got to be soft because it just... it. It didn't take like the the burr on it was a pain in the butt to remove and it just whatever but I got some aftermarket uh, green uh, linen micarta scales from Birdvis on uh, Instagram he did an amazing job on those those are polished as well and my favorite slip joint at this time it's a discontinued one I'm sorry but is the Boker uh, Cox Slim, it's an Anzo design, it's in black, uh, polished canvas micarta, contoured, look at those thick scales, very nice and deep hollow ground blade on it, there's Anzo's maker's mark, I think it's N690 steel if I remember correctly, uh, I should have bought two of these, but I don't, I don't carry slip joints that much so there you go there's all up well, I got one more that I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek and that's the the, the new summit knife that that somebody sent me to do a review on uh, y'all stay tuned for this video so for whoever stayed around this long I appreciate it but this one's coming up this is the new summit knives El Capitan, you can see, and it's a beast, definitely a beast, but we'll talk more about this in the full video. So there you go, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Um, if you want to know anything about any certain knife, just uh, ask me down in the comments. I'm probably not going to leave links to every single one of these because there's over 30 knives here and that'll just take me forever, so I'm sorry. 
if you do want to know something about a certain knife, just ask me. You can do a timestamp if you don't know what it what it what it's called or you can't explain it to me. Any way you want to do it, it's cool with me. I uh, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.